it is Tuesday, July 17th. Welcome back to the vlog. So internet, today I want to talk about the mall. Not them all, but the mall. Because I went to a mall today. I went to Mall 205, which is a small mall here in Portland. There are others that are bigger, but today we went to Mall 205 because it has a Target and we needed to go to Target. And I was really excited. I chose that Target over the one out by the airport and Ikea because I remember Mall 205 from when I went, went as a kid. And it has this kind of like golden aura of of just hustle, bustle-ness. You know, like when you're a kid and you go to some place like that, how you just you just see kind of like the, the bright lights of the things and all the stuff there is to buy. And you don't really think about what's happening around you so much as the fact that there's a Hello Kitty bank and you want it. So... I, I wanted to go back there to see what kind of things had changed since I was a kid because it was 1990 the last time I went I was 12 and a lot has changed internet a lot has changed so much has changed that there's really nothing going on I have a hair there's there's just nothing going on in this mall all of the flagship stores the Target the Bed Bath & Beyond the Home Depot are all open and they seem to be thriving which is nice but the inside of the mall where all of the little stores will be and all of the food shops and and carts and kiosks and things, there's just nothing. There's nothing in there. And it just, there were benches, but they were empty. Nobody was sitting on them. And it just, it made me very, very sad. And the thing is, is I know that I am supposed to hate the mall. I know that I am supposed to hate everything that the mall stands for, all of the the kind of mindless shopping and commerce and, and valuing things, you know, like that are shallow over things that are in depth because usually the bookstores and malls are not so great, typically. Um, there's not a whole lot of, you know, independent businesses that can thrive in a mall situation because the rent is high. And so I know all of the reasons that I'm supposed to dislike the mall, but I don't. I I feel like I'm a, I'm a bad grown-up and I'm a bad Portlander because I actually kind of like the mall and I want malls to thrive because those stores do create jobs and, and you know, it's nice to be able to go to one central location and get a pet goldfish, a pair of shoes, a slushy, uh, some music, and a comforter without leaving one central location. And somebody's going to find a store that has all of that. I know that they will. But you know my point. And so it just, it, it kind of made me sad. I feel like this, this big part of my childhood is kind of getting all broken apart and that's never fun. Um, so, so there's that. That was today. It was kind of interesting. I wanted to have a deeper thought about that, you know, something about commerce and the movement of time and uh, it's summer. Nobody can think deeply. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna present that to you and then I'm going to say that I need more topics, you guys, because I am hot. It's summer and when I am too hot and it is summer, I have a really hard time with thinking any deeper than this <laughs> about things, unless someone gives me something that I should look up or research or talk about. So for next week, um, I am going to start talking about topics that you send in. In fact, that might be August's challenge, I don't know, or the rest of July's challenge, whatever. But start leaving topics that you would like me to talk about in the comment section, and I will start talking about them probably on Thursday. And won't that be fun? It'll be like a whole everybody gets to participate thing. It's, it's really hot. I. Ooh, summer, yay, heat, uh, and is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I can't think of anything else that I needed to talk about or promote or make sure you guys knew about. So I'm going to stop. I will be back on Thursday. Leave your vlog topic suggestions in the comment section and have a great couple of days. Thank you as always for watching everybody. I really do appreciate it, especially when I'm kind of all over the place like here. And I will be back on Thursday. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in a couple of days.